How to make and sell an NFT Crypto Art Tutorial What is NFT and what is its purpose? What are the steps to making NFT? How can your own NFT generate revenue? Welcome back to Metaverse everyone! In today's video, I'll show you all you need to know about producing your first NFT, uploading it to an internet marketplace, and perhaps profiting from it. Let's get started! What is NFT? NFT stands for non-fungible token. It's an alien-esque term, but you can think of it as a digital certificate of authenticity. In real-life classic works of art, antiques, and other historical items are often sold at auctions with a receipt certifying that they are genuine NFTs, serve the same purpose but for digital items. They allow GIFs, videos, JPEGs, MP3s, and just about any other file for format to be certified as one of the kind. This technology enables a new kind of ownership for digital files that wasn't previously possible. How to create an NFT So now that we know a little more about NFTs and what can be an NFT, let's go step by step through the process of creating and listing your first NFT for sale. And you won't need any crypto experience to do all this. So there's gonna be four steps today. First, we're gonna set up a new crypto wallet. This is where we'll stall all the Ethereum cryptocurrency that is used to pay the fees that are associated with putting an NFT for sale. Second, we're gonna buy a little bit of Ethereum cryptocurrency. You'll need this to cover those fees I just mentioned. Third, you'll connect your new crypto wallet to one of the popular NFT marketplaces. You'll use your wallet to authenticate everything you do to keep us secure. And then fourth, we'll actually go through the process of listing your art and turning it into an NFT. Step 1. Create a crypto wallet. Okay, so we're starting out here in the iOS App Store, the Rainbow Ethereum Wallet. Now, there are tons of different wallets you can use to buy NFTs and to store the Ethereum crypto coin. So for this tutorial today, we will be using Rainbow. Because this wallet is super simple, so if you're not comfortable with this one or you want to try something else, there's definitely a lot of other options out there. But we are using Rainbow for this tutorial. So we've already downloaded this app, so we're just going to tap open here from the app store and we're going to go right into the wallet. So we just opened a new wallet called Capwing and it's super simple. Step 2. Buy some Ethereum Right here inside the app, it uses Apple Pay to cover transactions, so you can just tap any of these buttons. $50, $100, $250, and add Ethereum right into your account. Let's start with around $100 if you are planning to mint and create your own new NFT. Now I know that it sounds like a lot because it is, but currently, there are pretty high fees associated with making new NFTs. 100 should be enough to get you covered for your first NFT. These gas fees fluctuate all the time, but they have been quite high lately, with a lot of excitement around this technology. So you'll want to start out by buying around $100 worth of Ethereum. Now you can just use Apple Pay to immediately cover this and have it sent in your wallet, or if you are an Android user, I'm not entirely sure what the payment method is, but I know there is a Rainbow Wallet available for Android, and the standard payment methods you'd use in Android should apply there as well. So start here in the Rainbow Wallet and add some Ethereum into your account. Step 3. Connect your crypto wallet to wearable. Now that your crypto wallet is all set up, we are ready to actually link it to one of the NFT marketplaces where you can buy and sell and create your own NFTs. So for this demo today, I'm going to show you how to do this on wearable.com. This is one of the most accessible NFT marketplaces. There's no invite required and it's very easy to get started. So we'll head over and click to wearable.com and once you're on this main page, you'll just click this connect button up in the corner. It will take you to this screen where you have a bunch of different wallet connections. You'll see here 
here, here's the Formatic, Wallet Connect, Wallet Linked, so that these are all different apps that connect different crypto wallets to their marketplaces. If you're using the Rainbow Wallet that I suggested in the first step, then we're going to use Wallet Connect. But if you're using a different wallet, you may need to further explore which one of these options with the best for you. So we'll start off by clicking Wallet Connect here and it's going to bring up you to this QR code. So we will just go into the Rainbow app and we'll slide over the screen that shows the camera and we'll just go over that QR code. And there it says, Rarible wants to connect to your wallet. So we'll just tap connect and you'll see right here, as we tap connect, we're now logged into your Rarible account. It's automatically created an account that's linked to our wallet only so from here you can actually move on and start to buy or create our first NFT. Step 4. Turn your content into an NFT and list for auction. So for the part, we've all been waiting for how to actually turn a piece of content into an NFT. So we are here in the Catwing Studio Editor. Catwing is actually a great option for creating NFTs because it enables you to simply create all kinds of content whether it can be an image like this one or a GIF, a video, all kinds of content that can be turned into NFTs can be made in Capwing. So we have this NFT graphic that we made for our article and let's download this now and take it over to wearable and mint it as our first NFT. So our first NFT will quite literally be our graphic of an NFT. So we'll click to export image here in Capwing and that takes us to the screen where we can now download our content. So we'll click download and now we've got a copy of our image saved in our hard drive. So we'll switch back over to Rarible now. Once you've signed in, you should see this create button up here in the corner. So we'll go and click create and now we have a selection to make. Do we want a new name this NFT as one of one, like the only version of this image that's available on the blockchain that can be bought and sold or do we want to make a few copies of it? Maybe it's one of 10, maybe it's one of the 70. So if for the sake of rarity and you know making this a true one of one, we're just gonna select single here. Now, this next page is very similar to you. You know how to upload screens you've seen in other apps? It's very similar. It's kind of remind me of uploading a video on YouTube. So we'll just click here to upload my file. Let us find it. There it is. Select it and upload it. And then it kind of shows you a thumbnail of it. And then you can start to make some other selections. You can, you know, choose whether or not you want to put it all on sale or just create it as an NFT to keep it on your own crypto wallet. So we are going to put it on sale and we can set an instant sale price. You can kind of think of this as like a buy now price that you'd see on eBay. This is the price that we want for somebody to immediately be able to purchase it. If we don't select and then that it doesn't just go to a regular auctions where people make bids and we can choose to accept them or not. And then you could also see if you've created a really rich piece of content. Do this unlock when purchased option and that allows you to link to maybe like a website or a Dropbox or something where people can download like a high quality quality version of the file or get some other special extras that come with the NFT. Maybe like a video of you creating it or some more background around how it was made or those are the kind of nice little extras to bundle in. So we don't have any of those to offer. So we're just gonna go in and it'll ask you to now put a name, put a description. So we'll say NFT token. And for the description, we'll say what we imagine an NFT looks like. Then you'll see down here this royalties section. This is actually really cool. So you can set a royalty amount and then anytime this NFT is sold in the future to someone else. 
you will actually receive this percentage of a royalty of that sale. That is, is one of the things that makes NFTs really special for creators. It is that they can continue profiting off their work well after they've sold it for the first time. Something that you know doesn't really happen in the traditional art world. So usually you see royalties of around 10 to 30 percent. So we'll set this around 20 percent. And now that we have all our information entered here, we'll just click create item and then next it's actually going to send a request to our rainbow wallet to accept these transactions. So if you go into the rainbow here and we scroll over, you'll see here that it is it's got um transaction request to go ahead and create this NFT. We haven't bought any Ethereum, so it says that our balance is too low. And then you can see down here at the bottom of the screen, you have the network feed that's going to be associated with actually going and, you know, minting this NFT today. So um, yeah, you'll just complete the transaction here in your wallet and then back on the screen, it will actually start to do the rest of the process of minting it. What an NFT looks like in Rarible. So once you've minted your content and paid all the fees, this is what it'll look like. You'll see it right here on Rarible. It has a full transaction history. You can watch bids that have been placed on it. And it's now live. That's how you make your very first NFT. We began by creating a fresh cryptocurrency wallet. We then purchased some Ethereum. Then we connected our wallet to an NFT exchange like Rarible.com. Finally, we uploaded and minted our stuff into a NFT. So what are your thoughts about these tutorials? Do you think that this video is useful? Please let me know in leaving a comment down below. And if you enjoyed this video, please press the like button, turn on the notification bell, and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thank you for stopping by to watch. See you on our next video.